Up to this point, what had been absolutely an amazing vacation, Karen and I, along with my sister Joan, all decided that we were going to do something a little bit more adventurous. We were going to take a snorkel trip. But it wasn't just any snorkel trip. It was something that none of us had ever done before. It was going to be a night snorkel trip. But first, we had to get the 411 from our guide on what to expect and what we we're going to see. So, what I want to go down, I'm going to retrieve certain stuff you guys sometimes you never see before. I'm going to hold it in my hand. I'm going to bring it up. <laughs> guys, stop me if you guys don't want to touch it or you guys want to hold it. Okay, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> what about you guys? Oh, yeah. what, is it, what is it that I might hold again? It's, it's a surprise. A, I, a surprise. I can't tell you. But you said we're going to see squid and octopus, right? Octopus, squid, lobsters, <laughs> lionfish. We'll be fighting at close quarters with the most tenacious of all sea beasts. Stay clear of the tentacles. They'll seize anything within reach and hang on to the death. Most probably if I see the sponge. I will go down on the sponges. Guys, guaranteed it's gonna be too hot. Hey, listen, the camera caught that.
this oddity on the bay is the local fruit salesman. I'm not sure if you saw that or not, but there looks like there's some papaya and some coconut stuff on there. What he does is he sails around the bay here to all the sailboats that are anchored out here and he sells them fruit. It had nothing to do with sandals or anything like that, but he sails around here. I don't know how often, but he sails around here and uh, he sells them fruit. And uh, there is some fish jumping out there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Like a school of something jumping. Okay, we're finishing up our last couple of days here at the uh, Sandals Grand, and I've got my lovely wife Karen, who's the uh, CEO, CF, CFO of Blue Mountain RV Adventures, my sister, and we ran into Richard Attenborough from Jurassic Park. Dr. Grant, my dear Dr. Satcher, welcome to Jurassic Park. A really amazing, uh, the famous actor Richard Attenborough from Jurassic Park, no, Steve. Anyways, we just wanted to kind of wrap up and let you know our own perspectives of uh, the Sandals Resort here. And I'm going to start it off and I'm going to tell you that this is without a doubt the best vacation I have ever been on. Um, I feel bad for my kids that are watching, Dad, Dad, didn't you go to Disneyland with us? Wasn't that wonderful? Yes, that was wonderful with Disneyland, but as far as an adult vacation and complete relaxation, this by far is the best vacation I've ever been on. Karen, what do you think? Um, absolutely. I, I haven't, I'm not as probably a, as world of traveler as those that are here with us, but I would have to say that this, everything here has been at such high level, high class. Um, the people have been amazing. Sandals has designed a, um, a resort that is um, fit for everyone's comfort and luxury and indulgence and decadence. Um, the pools are, are wonderful and the restaurants are beautiful. The rooms are, are well appointed, but I think it's the staff that's really differentiated this entire resort from anything that I've ever experienced. Yeah, Steve, what do you think? Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. They engineer the whole place, not only for the beauty of the layout, the pools, and we're right on the beach and everybody here all this that it makes you feel like they're glad you're here absolutely that's one of the biggest things i saw was not only just this an immaculate resort and everything but the staff is friendly and karen actually brought it up earlier this morning to one of the staff supervisors it's a genuine friendliness it's not any kind of well i've got to be nice because this is my job no i we definitely get the opinion that they're genuinely very yeah. very nice people um john what do you think um, well, ditto what they're saying about the environment and the hospitality. Um, you're not going to starve here. There's lots of restaurants. Um, my 
my favorite meal so far was uh, chicken parmesan at the, at the Italian restaurant. Although they have a seafood restaurant that it's out on the end of the pier, and that was the best ambiance, I think. Um, so there's lots of choices. I would only say briefly that we were talking a little bit this morning about a cruise versus an all-inclusive like this. And I would, if I had to choose, I would do this. There's just more, it seems like more room to spread out. It doesn't seem crowded. I don't know what the occupancy is here. Probably 80% or something right this week. But um, it's not crowded. There's lots of room to spread out, lots of things to do. Um, you can go kayaking or get a Hobie cat or just a ton of things to do. Lots of very snorkeling. Um, all included. Oh, it's all included. It took me about two days to get used to just not having to pay for anything, walking around. And <laughs> yeah. Just walking up, I'd like to drink. Yes, I'll have this or that. But um, anyway, I would highly recommend the, the Grand, the Sandals Grand Resort on St. Lucia. If everything goes according to plan, we're going to be jetting out for Miami on Thursday. Yeah. And then on Saturday, Karen and I are getting back on a cruise ship for 10 days. When you say you didn't to get we say, you got your six, you're not going to say one, two, three again? No, I'm going to say one, two, three, and then I'm going to go, remember. We got and just your, oh, remember, we, we got say your six. remember, you got your six. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. And remember, we, we got, got your, your six. six. I don't think that quite came at you. Let's do it one more time. That didn't quite come at you to say. One more time. One, two, three. And remember, we, we got, got your, your six. six. Much better. I think that came out right. I'm tired. Oh, so okay. I'll that over again. Karen, one more time. What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Blue Line RV Adventures. Mm -hmm. And we just started it just this year. My husband just retired. And we're going to travel the United States in a motorhome. Do you know what a motorhome wow. is? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a very large country. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we want to do he was in law enforcement, so he wants to get away from law enforcement, get in touch with people. We love people, and um, we want to just enjoy a much relaxed. Yeah, relaxation. So we met I mean, last night. I mean, last night, and we. I have a grandson who's three, and he loves the baby shark song. Mm -hmm. And she has a daughter, right? Yes, and so three. three. And she and we got to talking about. The baby shark song, <laughs> and my husband does not know what the baby shark song was, so we introduced him to the baby, baby shark song. <laughs> so last night we got to singing the baby shark song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you have your, what the hell is your daughter? Said? She's two. She's two. She knows the baby shark oh, song. She does. So well, then we got to sing it now. So now the two of you have to sing it. <laughs> Come on, just a little baby bit. Shark, baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, baby shark. We got your six. Oh, perfect! That's perfect. That is so good. That's perfect.